Good morning, my name is Priya and uh, welcome to my vegan and vegetarian channel. So today we're going to make a dish from uh, Côte d'Azur, which is in uh, the south of France. Uh, it's the French Riviera and uh, it's uh, a dish that is usually uh, made with uh, beef. It's called tomate farci, uh, tomate à la Provençale, and beef is stuffed in a tomato. So I've substituted the tomato with, uh, sorry, the, the meat with carrots, courgettes and aubergine and also made uh, a, a green sauce with uh, parsley, garlic and uh, shallow fried cashews. Uh, so it's like a pesto but it's a vegan pesto. And uh, again I've uh, convinced my mother-in-law to give a go at uh, trying my recipe at uh, tomate à la Provençale and uh, let's see how it goes. Here are the ingredients, carrots, courgettes, aubergine, and here's my pesto made with parsley, garlic, and any type of nuts. Here I've used cashews, but you can use almonds as well as walnuts. Uh, I've, used, I've made this pesto in advance and I have a batch in my fridge all the time. It's uh, a bunch of parsley with some nuts and garlic. That's it, pulverized or blitz in a small blender. So here we are uh, removing the uh, midsection of the tomatoes. We first slice uh, the top part. Make sure that you slice it, you know, three quarters of the way up. And then using a teaspoon, you can remove it. You can also cut the corners with a knife to loosen the pulp and then remove it more easily. I've used the pulp of the tomatoes in uh, one glass of rice, which will cook separately. Finally chop all the veg, so aubergine, carrot, courgette, and uh, I've used some orange peppers as well here. Then fry it for about eight minutes in olive oil. And then I've added my pesto into it while frying. Pepper and salt goes in. Let's go make the sel et poivre. The vegetables are not completely cooked. Ouais, they remain crunchy or oui. al dente. The rice is nicely cooking on the side in the tomato pot. A good four, five heaped tablespoons of uh, my pesto went in. Generously oil my dish used olive oil here and to thicken my veg I use corn flour instead of an egg we used two teaspoons of corn flour here for one courgette half a big aubergine half a pepper and a small carrot 
Add a little bit of water to thicken it up. When the veg is sufficiently cooked, but not completely cooked, the cooking process will finish in the oven. It goes into the oven for 45 minutes, so it doesn't have to be cooked at this stage. Just enough for the, the juices of the pesto to absorb uh, is sufficient. So here we are, I had another red pepper in the in the fridge which I use, but it, it doesn't go uh, traditionally with this recipe. It's usually just tomatoes. Yeah, I'm shallow frying some sesame seeds just to add as a garnish at the end. And it also gives a nice crunchy taste at the end. So here it is after 45 minutes in the oven at 220 degrees. Tu vas mettre les graines au-dessus? Oui, elles, elles, sont, elles, sont, elles sont grilles. So, here we add a garnish of sesame seeds that have been shallow fried. On va voir ce que ça donne. I added, I had some extra veg that was cooked and I kept that in the oven together with my tomatoes. And I added it to my cooked yeah. rice. So this dish has had my extra veg, which I which I put together with the tomatoes in the oven. And now we added our rice cooked in tomatoes into that veg with a, about three tablespoons of olive oil to give it some extra flavor. The olive oil we used was extra virgin olive oil so that it gives a good taste. So I've made a, a neat thimble of rice and uh, three lovely stuffed tomatoes with my veg garnished with sesame seeds. It's time to enjoy. Bon appetit.